Lift every voice and sing Till earth and heaven ring Ring with the harmonies Of liberty Let our rejoicing rise High as the listening skies let it resound loud as the rolling sea. Sing the song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing the song full of the hope that the present has brought us. Facing the rising sun of a new day begun, let us march on till victory is won. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Tampa Heights Navigators. It's Miss Greenberg, your media specialist. I hope everyone had a fantastic four-day weekend and a wonderful Valentine's Day that was full of love. This morning, I wanted to give a big, big, big shout out to the students that I tested with in fourth and fifth grade last Wednesday. They did an absolutely fantastic job on their writing assessment. They worked so, so hard. I saw everybody planning, taking notes, and using their time to the fullest. I just love it. I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday. And I hope that everybody is being as diligent and hard workers as those fourth and fifth graders. Kudos to you. Stay tuned for more announcements. This Monday, February 15th, we had no school to honor President's Day. This is a day that is a national holiday that honors all of our past and present presidents. Please um, check out Mayan for a special book list to learn about presidents, as well as stay tuned for our guest anchor, Srihan, who will tell us some more information about presidents and President's Day. President's Day is celebrated in the United States of America in honor of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln on every third Monday of February month. It is a federal holiday. It had originally started in 1885. President's Day is now popularly viewed as a day to celebrate all U.S. presidents, past and present. Joe Biden is U.S.'s 46th current president. He also served as 47th vice president from 2009 to 2017 under Barack Obama. This week on The Morning Show, we will focus on some African Americans who were leaders and inspirations to the arts, whether that be through music, dancing, or artwork. The first stop is Malaya Jackson, who was born in 1911 and died in 17, 1972. 
She was a very widely known American gospel singer and considered one of the most influential vocalists of the 20th century. With a career spanning over 40 years, she spread the gospel blues in many places around the world, and as well as sold an estimated of 22 million recordings and performances. Raven Wilkinson, born as Anne Raven Wilkinson, was born February 2nd, 1935, and died December 17th, 2018. She was an American dancer who is credited with having being the first African-American woman to dance for a major classical ballet company. She broke many color barriers in 1955 when she signed a contract to dance full-time with the Ballet Russe de Monte Carlo. She was promoted to soloist during the second season with the troupe, and she remained with the company for six years. She has many accreditations in dance and was an excellent performer. Do you know Claudette Colvin? She was a part of the 1950s movement at the age of 15. She was on the bus and refused to give up her seat to a Caucasian woman. Rosa Parks also did the same thing, but Claudette did it nine months before her. She got less attention because she was 15 and she was pregnant. She is currently 81. She retired from being a nurse aide from 1968 to 2004. She has two children, Raymond Colvin and Randy Colvin. On March the 2nd, 1955, Claudette was in action. She was arrested in Montgomery, Alabama after refusing to give up her seat to a Caucasian woman. Her lawyer was Fred Gray. She was also convicted on all three charges at the juvenile court. Lots of people say she followed in Rosa's footsteps, but it turns out it was the other way around. She did not give up her seat for the reason she was learning about Black History Month in the U.S. Constitution. Side note, this took place a few days after Black History Month. A lot compare her to Ruby Ridges, who at the age of six in 1960. She's an American hero. She was the first black child to, at six to desegregate William France Elementary School. Dwayne McDuffie, born 1962, died 2011, was known for his comic book, um, being a comic book author and publisher. After he graduated from the Uni University of Michigan with his master's degree in physics, um, in 1983, he moved to New York to attend film school. One day, a friend told him about a job at Marvel Comics. That's right, Marvel Comics, working on superhero trading cards. But Dwayne quickly moved up the ranks at Marvel, writing for such characters as Spider-Man, Captain Marvel, and She-Hulk, while creating his own comic called Damage Control. Dwayne was a true champion for a more inclusive comic book landscape and he also had other titles that he worked on such as the Justice League Unlimited, Teen Titans, Justice League, and Fantastic Four. He en entertained an enlightened audience with fantasy and humor. Very cool. You should always wear your mask in public. It will, off, it will protect others as well as you. What kind of flower gets the most kisses on Valentine's Day? A tulip. Students, please remind your parents that there will be a PTA slash SAC meeting on February 18th. Please remind your parents that there will be a PTA and SAC meeting on February 18th. Speaking of PTA and volunteers, I want to give a big shout out to this month's parent volunteer, 
Tanya Nathan. Miss Nathan, we appreciate every single thing that you do for our students and staff at Tampa Heights Elementary. As part of Tampa Heights Spring into Reading, the PTA is hosting the first annual Navigators Readathon. Students, you're going to read a bunch and help our school raise money for Navigator programs. This is taking place February 10th to March 1st, 2021. There will be more information coming home with you. Please see your homeroom teacher for that information. Just a reminder that recycling will start next Wednesday and that teachers, you must place the bins outside of your classroom doors so that our green team can come and collect those bins. Thank you so much for recycling and staying green. Students, please continue to be superheroes and wear your mask to stop the spread of COVID-19. Also, please wash your hands at, with soap and water. And if soap and water is not available, please use a squirt or two of hand sanitizer. Also, please be checking the weather to wear appropriate weather clothing. If it is cold, please remember to bring a jacket and wear pants. Um, it is so important because it is cold, flu, COVID season, and we want to keep all of our navigators healthy and our brains growing strong.